Interpol has even stepped up and intensified its capacity building programs by coming over to the Philippines and training our immigration officers in their STOP program. You know, the technology transfer and the use of their computers resulted in spot checks at the airports. Using Interpol tools and resources, they were able to scrutinize about 50,000 potential victims leaving the country. And uh, out of that program, they had, uh, they had one in Cebu at Mactan Airport. And they also trained our immigration officers at uh, the Ninoy Aquino in Terminal 3, as well as Ninoy Aquino in Terminal 1. And uh, that resulted in two hits, which is very important because it is a deterrent. In combating migrant smuggling and human trafficking, we resort to the three Ps, protection, prosecution, and prevention. And may we add a fourth P, partnership with Interpol, resulting in increased interceptions, in prevention, and in protection of would-be possible victims of migrant smuggling. We in the Philippines are very grateful to Interpol for this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity in giving us the much-needed boost and assistance in combating migrant smuggling and, of course, human trafficking. We are optimistic but that, we, that with this partnership with Interpol, we will be able to conduct more trainings, technology transfer, and uh, conduct local trainings of our immigration officers and our law enforcement officers such that they would be able to retrain and echo training. And as a result of which, we will have more trained personnel equipped with Interpol style investigation, intelligence gathering, and they will be more or less uh, in tune and uh, aware of these Interpol programs at their disposal. Human trafficking is a worldwide offense. Migrant smuggling is a worldwide offense. We cannot just look within our borders. We have to coordinate with our neighboring countries. In Asia, in Europe, in Canada, in U.S., to protect our people, to protect our borders. And with Interpol tools and resources, we are optimistic that we will be able to eliminate, if not fight more effectively, this modern-day slavery.